What's up, my friends? We are back, and I took some time, went over, have a game plan in place for what we're going to do. Uh, I am going to go with the Fetter Trophy here with the more max HP. Uh, the death blow resist is pretty nasty. It leaves us at 33% across the board. Um, but with the higher HP, um, means a higher heal threshold. So we just got to stay off of death door, right? Uh, I took the, I spent all my relics, right? So I we went and I took the chalice off, which we were still getting the 10% crit. We were just losing the speed. But I just replaced it with the Greater Heart Seek. I mean, not a real big change there. I am going to leave the plus 50% damage on our Grave Robber. And the reason I say this is because I feel like this miss can put out a lot of damage up front. And that our damage is more lacking in the back row. So I want to have the option of having more damage in the back if I need it. Uh, we have the heal trinket on our plague doctor and we have uh this on our plague doctor as well I'm probably going to move move her to rank four to get more healing and um and then we have the heal on round end 33 percent which is nice our man at arms we got a nice 20 percent damage trinket and the standard of the ninth and i went ahead spent our mastery points um, I went ahead and buffed his Wicked Slice in case we need to do some type of melee attack on the front line if we're not in position to point blank. Uh, Man at Arms I left alone. I feel like his, he's pretty kitted out. He's good. For the Plague Doctor, I went and took... Actually, you know what? This is a bit of a misplay here because I did upgrade Incision, but if I'm going to put her in rank 4, I can't use it. So probably would have been better off upgrading Nauseous Blast. So... A little bit of a misplay there, um, but I also took the play grenade in case we need a little bit of extra damage in that back row. And then for our grave robber, I took shadow fade and glint in the dark because we're going to be taking off dead of night and uh, her heal ability here. And because uh, obviously there's not going to be any corpses. And I mean, while this is nice, we almost never use it. Uh, this will be nice if we get shuffled around. Gives us a way to get into the back line again. And this is just a straight, um, just a nice damage ability to replace Pick to the Face. Um, since we are doing the Deadeye tree here, which increases the damage and crit of ranged skills. Um, so that is the basic idea. We buffed up with our... Our pancakes, our flapjacks, and um, on some of them I took some move resist. So on our grave robber and uh, plague doctor. So hopefully if there is any type of shuffling around, we will resist. I'm not really sure what to expect here. Hoping to get some nice big front fat crits on a highwayman in the front row. Barrison to soak the damage and uh, maybe get some big hits himself when he can. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump on in and see. I hope we don't hit an exemplar Distorted. These glacial on that one fight before the boss, because that would be horrible. Maker. That <laughs> is very unfortunate to only get one positive buff. However, I'm okay with this. So we're going to constantly be buffing Dismiss, uh, which is good. I was hoping for more. I spent a lot of our relics on buying pretty much all of the relationship buffing items, um, which I didn't show, but I think they were mostly around between like 13 and 15. Um, so I was hoping for more than that, but what can you do? Yeah, so this fight coming up, I really hope um, <laughs> it's not the Exemplar or whatever that guy's name was fight, because that would be a rough fight before the last boss. We are going in with zero loathing, which is absolutely nice, considering I have no idea what I'm going to fight. Alright, fight, 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 fight. Yeah, see, 13, 12, so... Unfortunate that we didn't get more. Alright, good. Yeah, so... <laughs> like before, I said that the, um... 
the altar needs to go. This guy Let us take a close really look stressed us out last time. As repulsive as it is. Maybe it's because he was just in the back row, so he just kept using Weight of the World. Um, I don't know, but he like seriously stressed us out last time. So I'm on the fence if I should focus on him or the altar of obsession, apparently. Nice. Okay. Now, this guy is going to build up our stress as well as as he just shown. Um, almost no blight resist, so... Same on the front, so I'm thinking... Ugh. Alright, let's just start stacking the dots in the front row here. And then we can get... Oh, he takes up two spots. Ugh. That's fine. Get Dismas back in front for a point blank shot. I really haven't been using that strategic retreat um, ability or strategic withdrawal, sorry, um, as much. I think I've been using the duelist advance. That was very weak. Why? Oh, he's got the taunt. Ugh. Gross. 85% crit with Throne Dagger. Why can I not use... Oh, Glint in the Dark can't be used. That's right. I was going to switch these spots. 65 crit is nice, too. And that should... See if we can nullify some of that regen there. Not a lot of it, but, you know, some. More stress. Alright, so we got 8 damage, 12 HP, so one more. Wow. Alright, we need to de stress here. I was going to. Oh, he's got the taunt! Alright, this will buff Barrison, but we're still just gonna... Mm. We're still just gonna um, de-stress with Barrison, so it's not really... Alright, good. Dead. Alright, good. You know what? I don't mind the heal. Um, I do mind the damage. Can I go yet? Okay. We'll take the blinds. Good, and the marks. We'll de stress a bit here. And if we need to, hopefully we can de stress again. I think I'm going to focus on this back. This will actually uh, get me a stun. Which is. Oh my god, the resist. Oh, right back at you, buddy. Insane damage. Okay. What is this stun resist at anyway? 20. Really? Ugh. No one's really low enough to heal, so let's just. The fiend's That's right. The uh, you know, I'm seeing the big crits and I'm like, damn, our HP is not dropping that much. Oh, that would be because we have a ton of HP. We are buffed. 13 to 18, 70. Look at that. Nice big 26. Hopefully we'll get the death here. Oh, that's nice too. See, I thought the way I read that is each hero on round end. So I thought it meant like 33% per hero, but it looks like it's just a straight everybody. Okay. Do I just take the kill here? I think so. Maybe he'll get a little de-stress, or the maybe... No, he will not. Okay. Yields morbid gains. Um... Alright, let's get rid of this. Wow, 
Ow! Gross. I can't even, like, heal him yet. Alright, can I use good? So... A little bit more stress than I would like going into this last fight. Little tick, maybe? Maybe? No, no little ticks. Okay. The so. Past is gone. Let it die. Now, we're gonna rearrange our abilities just a bit. Uh, we'll get rid of that and take. What did I say we were gonna take? Oh, we already got those. So, what are we gonna take in place of Dead of Night? Could throw this down if we needed to divert attention for a couple rounds. It does give the dodge, which is a 50-50. I mean, or we could keep the heal if needed as well. Alright, um, on here... So we're going to do this, get rid of incision, take the nauseous blast, which... Kind of sucks because, yeah, Surgeon buffs that melee hit and gives... So we're kind of, like, being counterproductive there. Um, but we're getting a ton of healing given in that back row. And then... Man at Arms was good and Dismiss was good. Okay, let's go. I don't think we really had any combat items that we could switch up. Yeah. Uh... Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Now there's two fights? What? What is this? What is this? Okay, well, we have another fight. Maybe an opportunity to de-stress a little bit more. I was not. Wow, look at that. Look at all that three stress. Analysis is the yeah, was that this one here? Oh my god, just everything, just all the stress. Ugh. Okay, well. Take the blind. Oh, that's right, we gotta put the play grenade. Well, since we have the crit, let's see if we can get rid of some of this, uh, some of the blocks. Ah, oh, that is disgusting. Alright, well, it doesn't matter where we use that on. We do need to take the de-stress here. Um, yeah, he's gonna- oh my god, more- how did he get more super blocks? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Seven damage, gross. A breakthrough. Uh, I gotta pay attention closer, because I- is this gonna be another- yeah, this- this is- this is not good. He has got to get moved up front. Because that is going to cause us to run into some freaking... Like, if he does that one more time, that's a straight-up stress check. And that means all his HP is going to be gone, too. God, we're so close! Okay. So that did look like it was per hero. Okay. Uh, well, we need the bolster. Does this remove blind? No. Huh. We are gonna get an attack off before him, so it will die. Will you please leave my man at arms alone?
Alright, so that should be dead unless he gets healed. Good. Heal in the back. Good. I would actually almost prefer... Oh my god, leave him alone! <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's see if we can get a blind off in the back. Um, and just keep... Whew, seeing if we can... Uh, keep our man at arms from stressing the hell out. I want to get rid of this corpse to force him up. So that maybe... Oh, we got rid of the corpse ability! Ugh, gross. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Oh my god, and it won't let me attack anything else. Okay. Well... Okay, thank you for picking somebody else. Now just don't pick either of them two again. We can get a 14 here. Big ol' 35. Wow. This wound at least has been tended to. Yeah, definitely not doing that because that's just uh, welcoming a stress check. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do any of these. All right, let's get rid of the altar. Good, actually. Cooperation is the key. That actually wasn't too bad getting that haste. I would like to see if we can get another. Please do something else other than stress the hell out of me. I actually, I don't mind that. Yeah, 63. Ugh. So his base is probably 30. Can go blinding. 30 debuff. Or... Let's just go with the buff here. Try to... Never mind. I was going to say try to clear that with Dismiss, but... I would have buffed Dismiss there had I known that was going to happen. What are we at? 12 Blight. So we're out Blighting his heal. Let's see if we get lucky. Nah. God, that just has a stress. Ugh. Alright, so we're going to do this again. This will haste him so that hopefully he goes first. Good. And then we can get this de-stressor off. Good. We got this door. Do I try to milk a heal out of this? Can I even? No, I can't. So let's just... Good. Okay. Whew. Well, that was unexpected. Now we're even more stressed out um, on more than just our man at arms. So hopefully we get some uh, stress healing on the way. So now we have two fights on our way to the mountain. Is there going to be a third? Do we have round three? No, we're going to leave it at two. The Collegianist okay. Cathedral. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. I'm going to get rid of Blinding Gas. We're going to take the Plague Grenade. Yeah. And, yep, that's it. Let's go. That's it. All right, let's see what we're fighting against. I have mixed feelings about this. I don't know how it's going to go. Um... Copy all positive tokens. Um, 12 HP. Wait. So we popped its eyeball. 50 resists across the board. 
No death blow. Let us take a closer look at the thing. I'm I'm very confused. As as it is. So they're gonna copy all of our freaking blocks. That's um. So he has eight HP now. That's a straight eleven to fifteen. Eight to twelve. We got one eyeball left. Enemies will focus this hero. I'm okay with that, to be honest. Okay. Steady yourself. Oh, and it regrew an eyeball. Fan. Fantastic. 73 blight resist, so that is not gonna work. So Dismiss and Audrey can focus this. That should be fine. Um hmm. I'm gonna de-stress here. So the damage isn't gonna matter. I just I highly doubt we're gonna get. 83, gosh. So why is his less? Maybe because we popped an eyeball? Alright, well let's just let's just go up here. Get rid of that. In crisis, we can rely uh, only upon bolster, each other. yep. Ugh, gross. Pop your eyeball. Okay, six health. Yeah, he's he's gonna stress check. All right, let's let's roll with the uh, let's see, sixty-three. Ah, uh, gross! Oh my god, he's oh, okay. Nope, he's, they're just gonna keep re Okay, so... Yeah, here we go, stressed out. Oh my god. Oh, not yet, okay. Okay. Man. Repost would be nice for all these friggin' attacks, and we can uh, just start wailing on him. But then they're just gonna copy it and take it away, huh? So what is the play here? Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. Requires target has mark, apply on hit the mark, and can hit anything. And we can't get rid of that, that I'm aware of. So we get super block, haste. So we can go first next round. Get a little damage on. Hopefully get a de-stress off. Good. Okay. Oh, but he's gonna go first, isn't he? Ugh. <laughs> he's gonna regrow the frickin' eyeball. Yep. Oh my god, so we're, we're just in, um... Well, if I do this... We are making progress. Get a big heal here. 6 HP, so as long as we go first with Dismiss... Okay. Beautiful. And of course, there's corpses on this one. I I swear to god, I hope that does not regrow. Do we just kill it? Just to be safe? What are the odds that it's just gonna regrow? Hmm. 
Oh, we got the blight too. I was not expecting that. Okay. Uh, the stress is like the, this stress is stressing me out. Well, would have been nice to get the four there. Can't de-stress just yet. Could do the same, go back and we'll get the kill. Well, we'll pop an eyeball. We're hasted so we can bolster. Point blank, good. I'm actually okay. Let's buff up front, see if we can't get this kill. I mean, 6 HP, I- oh. It's kind of a waste of a repost, to be honest. 7 to 10, 14, okay. So we're making- we're making progress. So long as this thing doesn't come back. 4 to 5. 2 to 4. Why? Oh, we're weakened. So we'll do that. Now we're at 7 to 10. Nice. We're making progress. We're not freaking stressed out yet. We have our... Reposition. Beautiful. I highly doubt we'll get the play grenade off. It does not look like these are disappearing on their own. Let's just let's give it a whirl. We got the blight. It is three, you know, a little damage on each one, so. Hmm. I mean, they're attacking him anyway, right? The only problem is they're gonna. That's why we didn't do it, because they're going to take the... Hmm. I mean, I'm actually okay with this, right? Even if we point... Oh, it did disappear, finally. Okay. Since she has a way of... Putting herself back, like, I'm okay with him moving back like that. Ignores dodge when stealth. Uh, is anything else buffed when stealth? No. 11 to 15. Alright, good. Who are we gonna- we're gonna de-stress him. Eight to twelve. Good. Okay. We're getting there. This can't be the last boss. Like th there's there's gotta be more than this, right? Alright, so now we're now we're picking on picking on the plague doctor. I see how it is. Huh. I mean the attack buff isn't is pretty worthless on these things. So we're going to pop it, and then it's going to regrow an eyeball. So it's like a net neutral right here, like... Getting stressed out in the back. Good, nice resist. Oh, he didn't regrow an eyeball! Huh. Is there a reason for that, I wonder? I am very confused at the mechanics of this right now. Advantage. All right, so we're gonna move up. We'll de-stress next turn. OK. 
Okay, eyeball gone. There has got to be more to this fight than this. This is... It's too easy. It's too easy. Okay, down to one eyeball. We're gonna get a de-stress here. Empowered. Emboldened. Hopefully Dismiss goes first. Yes, buddy! Okay. What now? Sessions on shrinking okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. I, I knew there had to be something else. Ignores blind and stealth. Requires the target. Okay. Plus 25%. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So do we even attempt the Blight, or do we just go straight damage? Oh, big freaking crit. Um, oh. I really want to buff him. Do I take that? I mean, 22 health. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna chance it. And then what I can do here actually is I'll do defender, and I can use these tokens to get a nice free heal off. That I'm okay with that. Uh, I could actually. No, I can't do that. He has two of them. Well, we can get... What? We got a mark. So what does that do? Is that co it copies all positive tokens? Okay, just like the little eyeballs. We are marked as well. So four to six, because he has the defense up. 50% crit when marked. Fifty blight resist though. I just I don't know. Like if we try to stack the blight up because Alright, let's just do it. Use up the token. Alright, we did get the blight. Gross! It hurts so bad. Oh, my god. Yep. Alright, get a big old heal here. Heal there. Um. Ugh. Dismiss back in front. That should have... Okay, or not. How many attacks do you get? Alright, good. Removes both. I was I was not sure if it would remove one or two. Alright, big crit. Ooh. Okay, well, hey, good thing we left that on. God, are you kidding me? Yeah. We gotta stay off that door. Like... It's just that AOE attack is just disgusting. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Keep trying to stack the blight, so at least while we're prepping. Um Do I take aim here? I could get some reposts up to be getting some passive damage on that. AoE attack. Nice hit through the blind. 
AoE attack. Oh, gross! Is no time to falter. We can do something. I don't know. If he goes on death door, we can do the um they have given the um uh, if we even oh, oh my god. Oh beautiful. Alright, this boss, I have got to say, is just just a little ridiculous. 50% chance. Are you gonna do AoE attack again? Oh my god! What? Oh my god, we're dead. Dead. Oh no! Terrible precipice. Oh my god, gross. Okay, I so I still don't fully understand. I still don't fully understand. Like how we're supposed to avoid all this. Nothing more. I mean, this is just insane amount of damage. Oh my god! I mean, like, how do you even... Look at this. I mean, it's just like every single attack every just hits everybody. End. Like, what are you even supposed to do? Please be positive. No. Yep, yeah, we're, we're gone. There it is. Oh. Huh. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gross. We were so close. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Extra fight at the end there, so we had two cultist fights, and... Big ol' eyeball. Maybe we took a little too long killing all the smaller eyes leading up to it. Um, argument for more AoE abilities to wipe them out quickly so that we don't get that stacking buff on us that increases the damage. Um, okay. Well, listen. Now we know. Um... What do we have here? Help you choose a path. Increase candles. More inventory is always nice. Oh, 20 candles for that. Wow. Arriving at hospitals heals and de-stresses. Arriving at an inn, free in item. All right, these these are getting expensive. Let's see what else we can get here. For tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. So I mean, these are just like nothing game-changing, just kind of nice to have. Um we delighted in the city's vitality. Yeah, let's just I mean, let's just let's just max him out. Let's just go for it. the roads he wants haunted. So this is, if we have them guarded, they gain damage, which is nice. Again, more, yeah. Okay. Humility fortifies the hand uh, the straight 10% crit, always nice. Haste shield. is nice, we'll take the that, actually. Will rally. Burn resist, death blow resist, and okay. That, that'll be all of our candles. Let's, uh... Do we do this? Oh, it costs less too. Yeah, let's just let's just do this, and then we will unlock some items. What are we gonna get? Hot and still. Okay, whiskey items. That's good. 
And what do we like? Trinkets are always nice. The Cropper's folklore was as rich as their soul. When stress damage heal, thirty-three percent. Wow. Okay, that would have been rumors. very good in that first part of that fight. Not, well, you didn't really take that much damage though. It was really just the stress and those debuffs. In a sea of gain on hit, taunt, or taunt times two. Gain on miss, bleed. Okay, I guess. Boxing gloves, two targets, mine and they have to fight each other. Minus stress, round start, attack. Okay, cool. Instruments will Round star. Okay, I mean, nothing really game breaking here. So it adds stress, but chance of building relationships? Is that what I'm reading there? Every twinkling recollection. Okay, chance to remove a plague. Situational. Okay, there's the wheels. And then we'll do a trinket after this, and wow. That is a big stress reduction. If Bobbles is greater than 25, remove one negative token. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's, uh, yep, we got a bunch of stuff here. Let's go. Sanctuary, as fleeting as a dying star. Man, little unfortunate. I, I had mixed feelings going into that. I wasn't sure how that would turn out. All right, and we are back at the start here. We are gonna go again. Um, I'll think about if I wanna take a different party setup. Uh, argument to switch out the the Grave Robber, um, as I feel in this current setup that she is the weakest one as far as like how she fits in with the rest of the party. I just, I don't feel like she's kind of fitting in, you know? Um, so maybe I'll take a look at some of the other damage dealers, find something that has more AOE damage so we can try to AOE down those eyeballs. I think that's the trick is to AOE them down as fast as possible and um, to get less of those marks, right? Anyways, guys, what can you do? We lost. Join me in the next one for a rematch. Take care.